And let's, uh, I mean, let's start off with some of those daily active user numbers. At 49.5 million, that seems a little bit light, but they also gave an update for what they saw in January after the quarter ended. Absolutely. I think they gave an update uh, concerning almost 55 million in daily active users in January, which looks like a positive sign. I think that, you know, that temporarily helped shares a little bit. But overall, I think when we look at Roblox, we don't look at too much quarter by quarter mm -hmm. because as many investors ask us about this company, in a way, it is a barometer for the metaverse, mm -hmm. not, you know, how the metaverse trends are uh, progressing. And so far, they have been doing well for, uh, for Roblox. They say year over year bookings comparison should improve starting in the May June time frame so what takes us there I mean pull apart what really metaverse means when you're not the converted like many of our audience so qu quickly here uh, in October they had a three-day uh, downtime uh, especially during Halloween so that didn't help for daily active users but to answer your question uh, looking forward it's really just adding other monetization avenues for Roblox because now how they make money it's mostly with you know people uh, spending Rubox, as they're called, Rubox comments on their platform. But if you add advertising or brand partnerships in the future, that is a uh, possible. So like we're seeing on the screen, you have a tacos thing that oh, suddenly becomes an tacos. ad. Yeah, NFL, as you mentioned last week, they announced a partnership with Roblox, uh, and also Nike and others. So yes, uh, those could be possible avenues for growth. We've talked a lot about just other different social media companies and the key metric of engagement. How do you measure engagement if it's time spent on the platform, what you're doing on that platform, whether it be buying advertisements, you name it? Yeah, I mean, engagement is the number one way, of course, as you mentioned, Roblox focuses uh, on the growth. But it, the key point there is almost half of their audiences are 13 and, and lower mm -hmm. of age. And then to, in, to get that uh, older audiences, you need to have more of advanced type of graphics and games and things of that sort. So that's why they're trying to uh, improve their platforms to move away a little bit from the cartoonish type of, uh, you know, avatars to more of a, you know, 3D type of, uh, you know, uh, factor. Does there need to be a little bit more discussion about how they police the platform. There have been a lot of reports about some of the content uh, that we're seeing there, which is not necessarily as kid-friendly as some parents thought Roblox was or should be. I think there's always going to be discussion about that. I mm -hmm. think today uh, investors are probably going to ask those questions mm -hmm. to uh, Roblox during earnings call. Uh, just to quick, quick, give you a quick number here, uh, Roblox last year, they added a lot of AI and machine learning tools to uh, uh, remove some of this inappropriate type of content, and they saw 84% decrease on that. Is it enough? Of course not. It's never enough, but I think it's um, a step towards the, you know, towards the right direction.